Superstorm Sandy. The Superstorm of 1993. Typhoon Haiyan. All monster storms. And here comes another. Look at the eye on that thing. Former Super Typhoon Nuri. Guys, when I mean powerful, we haven't seen anything like this in recorded weather history here with a storm with this kind of pressure. It has whipped the meteorological world into a frenzy as it transforms into the strongest storm on Earth right now in terms of pressure. It's got a really special set of ingredients that are put together to make this one monster system. One, we have very strong jet stream energy that's already in place across the region. Winds inside of that jet stream in some places are over 200 miles per hour. And then you add this tropical system coming in that was former Super Typhoon Nuri. It's not a super typhoon anymore. It's a tropical storm, but it's going to blend. The energy with that, it's going to blend with the jet stream when you... Put those together, guess what you got? You got a monster storm. The ex bomb could set a record for lowest pressure in the Bering Sea, around 920 millibars. Think of it like a golf game, where the lower the number, the higher the score. In this case, the lower the pressure, the stronger the storm. It's going to be even a lot lower than Superstorm Sandy. This thing is going to have a pressure as low, for example, as Hurricane Andrew, except it's going to be thousands of miles across. Now, the winds in it won't be as strong as Andrew because the pressure is kind of spread out over a large area. But the waves could be a killer, with heights exceeding 50 feet near the western Aleutian Islands, making for very dangerous conditions for all marine vessels and putting the Coast Guard on high alert. We're, uh, we're taking the storm very seriously and taking a lot of precautions, uh, pre-deploying aircraft and, and, and vessels um, in anticipation of the storm. And this storm is so strong that it will help bring cold temperatures into a large chunk of the U.S. for perhaps a week or more. I'm meteorologist Chris Warren, The Weather Channel.